Um, but now we can move on to some unfortunate news. Um, Charlotte Flair being out for nine months. Uh, tore her ACL, MCL, and uh, meniscus. <laughs> I believe in her right knee. Um, and that's a big loss, especially for the women's division and how everything was going on, especially versus damage control, the potential of everyone saying the four horsewomen, her and Becky teaming up, all stuff happening with Charlotte. Charlotte has been a fixture in WWE for, what, over a decade now? Um, and to have her suddenly just out for nine months, not taking a little sabbatical for a couple months like she usually does, like one or two months or whatever the case may be, she has always been in the main event scene. She has always been a prominent figure. And to lose her for nine months flat out sucks. Um, uh, it happened during a match with Asuka. Apparently, they were going up to the top rope. I don't know if it was a Hana Karana or a suplex. Uh, but during that exchange, she went awkwardly, turned and bounced her leg off the top rope and slammed it into the mat. And it was like, holy cow, what the hell's going on? Um, we didn't know what the injury was. And then it just came out, uh, I believe, earlier in the week that it's a torn ACL, MCL, and meniscus. Um, what do you guys think about that and the impact on the women's division? Uh, Luz, you can go first on this one. Uh, it's it's tough. And I feel like it's, ugh, you know, Charlotte's so such a big big part of the roster and it's crazy that she's gotten to this point where she's like almost every time she returns it's like i feel like it's always kind of a big spectacle like like oh snap charlotte's back or even when they just need somebody to like be a challenger but i mean it's just bad timing i feel i mean i don't know how much she was actually going to be in the title picture I don't know if they were just still going to just be feuding with this whole damage control thing and who was actually going to be the next. I think that's the one thing I'm a little confused. I don't know who's, you know, they got this whole Bailey thing cooking. You know, I was hearing rumbles of the whole, I don't know, maybe Sasha's coming. They're trying to do the whole four horse women versus damage control um, for mania. Who knows if those plans are actually in the works. If that's scrapped now, then it's like, what do you do? Um, but it's a big blow, and because you know, Charlotte is easily can be put in any spot, and you know, she's definitely just one of the top female wrestlers on the roster and is always going to put on a great show. It's very unfortunate. Um, and you know, just hope she comes back better and stronger. I mean, it's crazy to think from her time in NXT to now and how long that's been. Um, also shows that you know, these people aren't indestructible, and anybody can suffer a huge. Injury. Especially her. Especially yeah. her. <laughs> I know. And I feel like Charlotte's definitely one of those like top physical like body. Like she's always in top condition, Shit. like mm-hmm. cardio, like abs and everything, like shredded, you know. So very unfortunate that you know this is gonna take a huge toll and what could have been for Mania. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, like to echo uh, Lewis's sentiments, you know, you know, it, it's it's never e- it's never easy. It's never easy to go through, uh, you know, an, an injury like this, especially for somebody, someone who's at the uh, cal- uh, caliber of a uh, top talent like 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 Charlotte is. And to make it even more frustrating, you know, it, it always seems as though like you know Charlotte's always either taking time ta- taking time off to either you know get married or taking time off to uh, have to have another you know surgery whether it's on her face or uh, or a, um I think like another time she left she was having like a, a breast reduction surgery so she, there's a lot of like a lot of stop and go stop and goes with her so you know the times that you do have her you know you cherish that because you never know you never know when she's gonna be taking more time off. So, you know, when she gets so then so then when these things happen, when she gets these injuries, you know, it's just so it's just so uh you know heartbreak heartbreaking and such. And then when you hear it's nine months, I know essentially she's not gonna you're not gonna see her until essentially uh, maybe around SummerSlam, maybe even after that. Um, you know, it's definitely you know, definitely uh tough. And you know, when you talk about SmackDown's you know, women's division, you know, you know, I I used to always say that, you know, you know, their top their top Three of their women are the top five women in WWE. That being Bianca, Charlotte, and, and Oscar. So you know you lose a top, you lose the top five woman, woman talent in, in the whole in the whole company. So so obviously they're gonna they're gonna SmackDown's gonna feel you know the lack of presence without Charlotte. Like Lewis said, we didn't know when, we didn't know which, where she was gonna go moving forward. We we can only assume that she still was gonna be a part of this whole you know Bianca and friends against the, against the damage control moving forward with with the. You know Bailey still playing that um, key storyline storyline part, 
But as much as I as much as I hate to say this, you know, the show, but the show does go on. And and because the show goes on, there's a top spot that's that's a top spot that's available for somebody to somebody to fill in the void. <laughs> You're saying um, Triple H. Get on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or if you or, or if you've already been in contact, pick up the phone and pick up the phone again and make the deal. I uh, mean Daniel, Daniel and I mentioned this weeks ago. He, he he may have mentioned it beforehand, and we, we kept talking about how this Bailey storyline was gonna plan out. Now there's legit a top spot available for someone to just slide right in. And there's nobody that fits that spot more than, than Sasha Banks herself, herself right now. What I mean, do you mean? We talked, no, we talked about it. We said we said the story writes itself. Now, not only does the story write itself, now the position writes it, it, itself as a as, as a top as a top female talent. So she she can just slide right into that spot, and they can just keep and they can just keep keep moving forward. So th- this is this is too obvious. You 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 got to get Sasha Banks back now. I mean, you got other women like Nikki Cross. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you're not being serious. Shotzi. Shotzi. What do you mean? Aaliyah, they can bring her back. Up, you know? <laughs> they can bring back Aaliyah. <laughs> yeah, maybe they can bring back, uh, what's her face? Uh, I'm Ronda Rousey, her. you can call her. Mm. She can come back. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want Ronda Rousey? Why? Eva Marie. One more, one more, one more run. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Um, but no, I mean, I think that again, what you guys have been saying, what I've been saying for weeks, is Sasha Banks and the Bailey storyline just makes too much sense not to happen, right? Like, yeah, like it's just right on the wall. The reports, the reports already saying that she's turning down AEW. It's like. Come on now, and you have the Rumble season coming right around. It's like it, it makes too much sense. And she yeah. did, and, the, and I saw that her contract with New Japan isn't 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 there anymore. Like there's no, no dates or anything that she has to fulfill. So it's like it's yeah. kind of on the wall. Like it should happen, but yeah. um, with Charlotte's injury, I just don't want to lose not only Sasha Banks potentially returning. What does that do for potentially Jade? Does that change her storylines or whatever they had for her? Because I know there was rumors about her facing Charlotte at WrestleMania. They were talking about that happening. Mm. Whatever. Now that's potentially off the shelf. Like it's not there anymore. It's not. It's not even an option. So if Jade is going to come in, potentially, and there's an open spot now there. <laughs> it's that not so true. much she's going to Raw. She could potentially go to SmackDown. So there's options there that they can play with. And it's just like mm-hmm. it's unfortunate, but it does, as you guys, as Brian said, it does open the door for somebody else to step in. So it's kind of like a uh, like a Mustafa Ali Kofi Kingston spot. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> Sheesh. I mean, how that played out and it played out so perfectly, it's like ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean yeah, Al- Ali was never gonna recover after that, no matter what great storyline, no matter whatever they- I know they did ended up doing retribution with him, which retribution. Was- was show. <laughs> but it- it- even if they came up with the best story for him. He was never going to recover recover from that because he could have. If you want a mid card title and rep <laughs> it right, and you know, did some things with it, I mean, maybe he wouldn't have gotten like the ricochet treatment. But I mean, who knows? We'll never know. Um, but yeah, uh, just looking at it from that standpoint of what potentially happens with Jade, whatever storyline they happen, because I thought that that was going to be something apparent, especially. Uh, when she was making the rounds uh, on each show, she did face off with Charlotte. And then it's like, that's a mega match. Two physical specimens like that going at it would have been dope. Um, looking at it from the standpoint of Sasha Banks potentially coming back, there's even more of a void there for a top star. Um, and we'll see how it plays out. I think the the I think the Bailey damage control storyline has been playing out good, better than expected. Um, and having her help them win and stuff like that. So We'll see what happens with that. We'll see what happens that um, if Shasha Banks does come back, of course I'm going to be stoked because I think that just makes sense. It just makes sense. Yeah. Um, and we'll see what happens. Um, but speedy recovery to Charlotte Flair. Hopefully she comes back at the top of her game and able to come back on a uh, on a better note. Um, let's move 